With a sleek modern interface, SEO Optimer claims to have the grade to rule all grades. And that's a pretty ambitious claim for a free tool that does an SEO check on your website. Now, I don't really know this company, and I don't even know whether to call it SEO Optimer or SE Optimer. But in any case, we'll answer the question about the grade to rule all grades in just a minute. Hi, I'm Ross Barefoot with Horizon Web Marketing and the Horizon Web Marketing Academy. And we've been going through some of the free online tools that are available that will help you to do an SEO check on your website. So the next one that we're going to take a look at is SE Optimer. And uh, we're going to just take a quick walk through it and see if it does what it purports to do, which is to give you that grade that rules all grades. So when you arrive at the homepage for SE Optimer, um, you'll see that it's a very modern website. It looks like a fair amount of budget has gone into developing it. And if you poke around in their website a bit, you'll see that this tool's been up and online since 2012, according to the site. The company is in Australia, and they have a number of free tools available on their website. And they also do SEO consulting services. So I'm not really familiar with them as a provider. I don't really make a recommendation or a criticism, but in, the other, in uh, my other tab here, we're going to take a look at a project site that I've plugged in to see what it looks like when we do an SEO check on that site. And in this case, it's the site we've been using with other similar checkers. It's called Artisans of Colorado. Right at the top, it gives me a letter grade, um, which is fairly typical for these types of tools. It tells me that I'm ranking a C plus, that my page could be better which of course is something you could say just about any website that's out there. So let's just scroll down a little bit and you can see how they've broken this down into a number of different categories. SEO, usability, performance, social, and security. Kind of ironic, social and security are next to each other, at least for the US market. So now we'll drop down, we'll see the overall grade, and then we'll see that they examine a number of the uh, basic things that should be given attention to in the header of the website. Uh, they'll take a look at the title tag, they'll give me a printout of what it contains, a recommendation on its length, a meta description tag, it'll give me a notification if there's uh, no title tag or no meta description tag. Drop down a little bit farther here, and it'll tell me whether it, um, there's a, a good distribution of text in the header tags for the website. Now, one of the things that I did pick out is it'll tell me that I have multiple H1 tags. It won't necessarily give me any sort of warning with regard to those. And one of the things that I'd like to see here that it doesn't have would be a, a better inventory right at the front side of these uh, header tags but it does have it buried just a little bit deeper. So in this interface, if I click where it says show more details, there I will see the inventory of contents of those various uh, header tags. So definitely nice the way they have that. Um, you just have to uh, know to click on the blue button to show more details. The keyword consistency will show me some distribution of words and which ones are most common on the page. And that's a good thing. It would be nice if they had two and three keyword phrases as well. But the single keywords are better than nothing, definitely. It'll also give me a warning on the low content on this page. And certainly, this page does have minimal textual content, so that's a valid warning. On the image alt attributes, it's a similar situation to the header tags. You've got to click to show them. The one thing here that I'd prefer to see is I'd like to see what the alt attribute says. In this case, it'll tell me which image on the page, this one right here, does not have any text in the alt attribute. But it won't really give me anything in terms of a recommendation. It also has a section that tells me about the number of backlinks. It gives me a nice overview here of Moz's domain authority, which is one of the industry standard numbers measuring how high quality the backlink structure is. Drop down here for the uh, link structure, and it'll tell me, uh, and, and I like this, that it gives me all the various links on the page along with whether they're flagged as follow or no follow. Now, if you're a beginner with SEO, a lot of this stuff that I've been rolling through here 
you're probably going to need to do some research and know how to uh, analyze some of these elements. So the sci this tool is a little bit lean on recommendations for absolute beginners. But it does, if you've got something else that's giving you some guidance, it'll show you some reportage here of what's going on in your site that is very useful. I'm going to drop down here. It'll show the presence of a robots.txt, an XML sitemap. Um, it takes a look as, as to whether the site is uh, going to render correctly on mobile versus tablet versus dex desktop. It'll check a few of the various elements that could be a problem if, uh, um, if crawlers uh, need to access your site, which of course they do. And so it's good that it checks those things. On the speed check, it's actually a pretty good test of the page speed info because it doesn't just give you an overall load time. It'll show you the response time of the server. It'll give you an all page content loaded and then all page scripts complete. Now, here again, um, if you're not familiar with some of these terms, it's going to be of limited usefulness to you. But if you know a little bit more, it does give you some useful information. And then it will give you a little bit more in terms of the various uh, components of your page that are been, being used. For example, the number of JavaScript files that are going on. Uh, and if you're a programmer, you can use this as kind of a heads up if you've got over usage of some of these elements. Drop down a little bit here and it will take a look at your social profiles. And in the case of this site, we don't have anything going on. So it's giving me a red flag on all of these various elements. Then it does have a good check of security. It'll tell me whether I'm using um, secure protocol, the SSL right here. It'll tell me whether HTTPS has been set up uh, correctly. And it'll also uh, tell me whether I'm being reported as having malware uh, embedded on my site. And I think that's very useful. Most of the checkers don't give us this type of feedback. So I think in that case, it was superior to some of the other tools we've taken a look at. Then it will give me an overview of some of the various technological components used to build the page, um, some of the various uh, sort of techie details that are related to it. And then it'll give me a number of recommendations. In this case, they're good recommendations. Again, they're, they're pretty minimal um, in the sense that it, they'll tell me to execute a link building strategy, but they don't really tell me how to do that. And to be fair, it's really hard to teach someone how to, for example, do a link building strategy on a tool that's a free one-page checker. So a number of these things here are very good to take a look at. I'm not going to try to explain each of them. What I am going to do is I'm going to see how does this stack up, and this is kind of a new thing I'm doing on some of these checkers, in that I'm going to go to our SEO audit checklist. Now this checklist is a free resource that we make available to anyone. And as a matter of fact, you can download a copy of this for yourself. And what I've started doing is taking a look at our checklist, which has 91 different items on it, and seeing is SEO, uh, and I put here, this is an incorrect statement here, by the way. I need to stop myself right now. See where it says SEO Optima up here? You know, I kept calling it in my mind SEO Optimer, and then if you go to SEO Optimer, you'll actually go to a site that downloads malware. So please, uh, let me do a verbal correction here that this size, as a matter of fact, I think I'll do it even though I've got the video running. I'm going to change this right here and right now. It's seoptimer.com. So make sure you get it right. Don't make the mistake that I did. On our 91 checklist, um, basically, I've got two different components that this audit checklist is broken into, the whole thing, and then also the technical side of things. So for technical SEO factors, and most of these checkers are focused on the technical factors, I have 30 different points that we check when we do an SEO audit on the site. And they hit uh, nine of these where SE Optimer can actually help you um, and you'll see some of them here. For example, the presence of an XML sitemap, uh, whether the site speed is acceptable or not, is the site using HTTPS, is the domain clean of malicious code, Mo and again, most tools won't do that. Uh, dangerously invalid HTML, broken links, is the navigation, or pardon me, is the site mobile friendly? 
and these things over here, you'll see them flagged yes. And, and yes means that SE Optima, if you're using it, could actually help you to clear those items if you're doing your own audit checklist. You can see, however, that it's not going to really hit everything that a professional SEO audit would hit. And I can just scroll down here and kind of give you a general overview of all the items that you still need to pay attention to even if you're running it. So although I really like uh, a lot of aspects of this tool and I like the fact that it's modern, well-maintained and so forth, uh, I probably would not agree that it will give you the grade to rule all grades. On our comprehensive SEO audit checklist, it hit 16 out of 91 points. On our, on our technical checklist, it hit 9 out of 30 points. So good tool. But you will have to do more if you're going to do a thorough SEO audit on your site. And by the way, if you want a professional to do an SEO audit for you, definitely come to Horizon Web Marketing. That's the type of thing we really love digging our teeth into. And if you want to learn how to do one for yourself, take a look at the Horizon Web Marketing Academy. That's the training arm of Horizon Web Marketing, where we teach business people and webmasters and basically anyone who has an interest how they can master a lot of these issues with regard to search engine optimization and perform them uh, on their own or with their own team. Again, my name is Ross Barefoot with Horizon Web Marketing and the Horizon Web Marketing Academy. I appreciate you taking the time and subscribe down at the bottom so you can get the next review that we do of a website grader and uh, you can stay on top of the best tools that are out there at the lowest cost. Thanks again for watching.